Okay, let's go ahead and try to integrate this. We have the integral of secant times secant of x plus cosine of x. So to do this, a good first step might be to just distribute the secant and see what happens. So we have our integral sign here. And then secant times secant, that's going to be secant squared of x. And then plus secant times cosine is going to be secant times cosine. And then we have our dx here. So just start off by distributing because we don't really have you know, an easy way to just immediately do this problem. So it's a good first step is to just take this and multiply it by each of these. So we need to think about each piece here before we proceed. So the, der the derivative of tangent is secant squared. So when we integrate secant squared, we're going to get the tangent function. So that's, that's pretty simple. But this secant cosine, there's not really a nice formula here, except you might recall, this is the key here, this is secant squared x plus secant is really one over cosine. So this is one over cosine x times cosine x. <laughs> so it works out really, really nice here. Uh, because they cancel, right? It's going to give you one. So this is going to be the integral of secant squared x plus one, beautiful, right? dx, what a cool problem. Yeah, so just a little thing there, just you know, keep in mind, these are reciprocals of each other. Likewise, cosine is one over secant, so you could have done it that way too, and the secants would have canceled. That would have been a perfectly acceptable way to do it. So now we're integrating, so let's think backwards again. What's a function whose derivative is secant squared? Well, tan x, right? The derivative of tangent is secant squared. And to integrate one, since it's a constant by itself, you just tack on an x, so it's just x. And it's not quite right yet. We still need our constant of integration, capital C. That would be a perfectly acceptable answer to this problem.